What's the story with this? Eu pequeno ainda, né? É um filho, você entende? Ter... Porque foi cortado aqui, deve ter ela. Uh, this is the anaconda. Yeah. This is a small baby. Could be like four or five meters. And the, it, it was just eating my chicken. So I had to kill it. So it was eating his chicken, and then how did he kill it? What did he kill it with? Uh, with a gun. With a gun? Did the chicken survive? Is that the chicken? Or did the chicken not make it? Uh, when the snake bites, bites prey, uh, immediately wraps it, wraps them up and, and kill it. Uh, so I just heard the and that was yeah. it. First of all, that was an excellent <laughs> chicken noise. That was an unbelievable chicken noise. Uh, so the chicken didn't make it, but then again, the anaconda didn't make it either. So we are here uh, in Brazil because we're investigating the story of the giant anaconda. We understand you've had some sort of first-hand experience. Yeah, it was a frightening experience. We were coming back on this river and suddenly we heard a big noise. And then this splashes in the water and then our boat, which was as a paddle boat, couldn't move anymore and start being pulling back. The water started coming in. We decided to jump and swim to, to the bank. When we looked back, we saw the big snake getting the boat destroyed. How large was the boat that you were on? Not too big, nine, ten meters. Right? A 30 foot boat. Could he estimate how long the snake was? From 30 to 40 meters. 30 to 40 meters. I didn't see the whole snake, but I see the part of it was felt like that. About like this? Yeah. Put this big around. So that's huge. Okay. So could probably have used the patented ginger ale dagger of death when his friend was attacked by a giant snake. I think my Portuguese is getting better. You ready? Okay. This is what I think he said. He was in a boat. He was in the boat. And they were going and the river was blocked by a tree. And so they got out of the boat to try to chop the tree to, to make passage? Yeah, one of the guys got out of the boat to cut the tree to make the passage. And then what happens? Uh, the guy's trying to cut the tree. When he felt that the snake by his feet, the snake started getting him all around and pushing him down to the bottom. So the snake just coiled around him entirely? Yes. Yeah. Well, they said, that, uh, let's try to help him out. And everybody went inside the water. Once the snake wraps you up, uh, it's easy to move them together. Because the not, snake won't uncoil, right? Won't it just uncoil. stays like that. It stays like right. that. So once they got him in the canoe, did they chop the snake off him? Uh, yes. They cut the snake's head off? Uh, yes. And how long was the snake? Well, I don't know. We estimate about 14 meters. Was 14 big meters length. snake? 14 uh, meters snake. And this big around? Yeah. This big like that. Do you believe that there are still snakes of this size here uh, in the river? Yes, I believe there is a, a lake, Katupa, uh, around yeah. here. That uh, there are those big snakes here. There are large snakes still. With the sun setting, we made preparations to navigate even smaller tributaries of the Amazon. I had this experience with the sukuri. With the sukuri, which is the giant snake. Just the giant, giant anaconda. Ah. Yes. <laughs> so uh, tell me about the experience. Tell me what happened to you. Eu corri para praia e quando eu vi aquele it was a full moon, and he was sleeping with the other people in the tribe. And then they, they heard that noise, weird noise, and then they came down to the beach. The snake, according to him, was going up, was coming up, and the dog started barking at her. He went up to the hill to call the other the other uh, warriors to try to, to catch them or kill the snake with, with their spears. Right. So when they came back, they didn't see any, any dogs anymore, and the, water, the, the snake has gone. They think that the, the, the snake had just the snake killed the dogs. Yeah. Could he tell how long it was and how wide it was? Yeah, cabeça. Grande, será cabeça. 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 That was the size of the head. Esse tamanho era a cabeça. Ah, Braço. Big. What they call big is like 20 arms, which is this size. More than 20 meters, probably. Sure. How far from here was this? Uh, around 45 minutes from here. We're going to go to Chimera, yeah. up the river. Up the river, in the TU area. We've heard a lot of myth about this snake as part of like a creation story. Does he have memories of, of his elders telling him about giant snakes playing a part in their in the formation of their culture? His old grandmother told once about the story of, uh, of the enchanted snake. It would transform the fisherman in some kind of animal or something like that. Transform the fisherman into an animal? Into an animal. But do you think that I have a better chance of finding a snake like this during the day or at night? On the beach. I'm not sure. In the night. Because it's hunting, it's easier to find it. I left the village with a new plan. The chief told us precisely where he'd seen the monster-sized